Hello stock stalkers, welcome back. This is part 2 of my weekly report card. Just in case if you have missed part 1, link will appear right at the top. You may watch that video. In this video, let's first start with ADX market index and then we will check out some stocks. I am on the weekly chart. It means I am on the higher time frame. And we can see 9850 is a tough nut to crack. Previously, market tried two times to break this resistance. We are seeing strong selling pressure. This is rejection area. Similarly, this time when it was trying to cross 9850 on 8th of January, we saw rejection coming in. And from here, we are seeing four red candles. As I mentioned, I'm on the weekly chart. So it means we are seeing for the last four weeks, market is just going down. So on the weekly chart, if you ask me, ADX market index is looking very negative. There were very good chances when it broke past 9,580. Hopes were high that it can start a fresh trend. Unfortunately, it was not able to break the resistance and we are seeing selling pressure. With last weekly candle, there are good chances it can come down to revisit 9,250 area, exactly where the rally started. Worst part is, we are not seeing any small red candles. So at least we can say that selling is stabilizing. We can see first red candle was bigger and then second candle got much bigger and then we are seeing similar kind of reactions. At least if we can see red candles getting smaller, if you ask me for an example, we can see here red candles were getting bigger and from here we saw red candles getting smaller in sizes. It means somewhere buyers are jumping in, we are seeing a recovery. Unfortunately for now we are not seeing this scenario in ADX at least on the weekly chart. So let me go down to daily and see how the market is looking. This is looking very negative to me. Right from the top, all red candles. There is no sign of relief. Even here, it made two green candles, but nothing interesting. This was just a small bounce. As we can see from 9,330, it tried to go up, got rejected at 9,340, and then we are seeing a red candle. It means most likely it wants to continue its downside journey. On the way down, 9,300 is next support. It can come here. If this does not hold, then we are coming much lower at 9,240 area. Well, there can be a scenario maybe if at all market can stabilize in this zone right here maybe it can establish a range for example after this drop to the downside now it tried to cross the resistance of 9380 got rejected again it can take a bounce from the same zone around 9330 make zigzag and then maybe if it can break to the upside then we can consider or at least we will get a first indication that now trend is about to reverse but in either case, we want to see a recovery coming in. Well, we are seeing a strong drop from this area till about here. We are seeing market is down by more than 5% from the top. That is around 9,850. So I want to see market recovering from here at least by 50% of this momentum to the downside then we can say yes bulls are trying to push the market up and their chances slowly and steadily we can see new high or at least it will try to revisit the same resistance zone for now adx market index overall is very negative it's in bears territory and there are chances of it going more lower let's check out some stocks IHC that is international holding company i'm on the daily chart we can see after a strong spike to the upside Again, it's back to the pavilion, same zone where it was trading for more than two months. In fact, we also have a previous data that it was just going sideways, made spikes, came down. Again, the same scenario, spikes and back to the pavilion. So similar kind of behavior is seen here right into the support zone that is around 400. I would not be surprised if it makes any spike again and then maybe fizzle out again to retest the same support area. Let me remind you, IHC is one of the most heavy weighted stock on the ADX market index. So when IHC moves, ADX market index also moves to the upside, which creates positive sentiments in the market and it helps other stocks as well. Aldar Properties released their financials. It's very promising. It's very positive. Real estate sector is booming both in Dubai and Abu Dhabi as well. On the daily chart, we can clearly identify a nice bullish chart pattern. If it breaks 5.20, definitely we will see more upside momentum. 
next area of resistance at 5.30 and then 5.45 respectively. Major resistance at 5.65. For now, Aldar should not go below 5.00 that is acting as a support. It's just going sideways for the last two days. This is a good indication that buyers are holding. For now, it's in a bullish chart pattern. I'm expecting a breakout very soon. So stock this one very closely for entries. Multiply also released their financials. It was very positive. Unfortunately, we are not seeing any buying pressure coming in. This stock is also gearing up for a new low. Last closing is at 2.64. There are chances it may visit 2.55. Multiply is in a strong downtrend. Previously, I took some entries right at the time of breakout. Unfortunately, it could not sustain. We saw a fake breakout. And then from here, we are seeing selling pressure continuously. Stop loss was set. I'm out of multiply as of now. But I'm looking for an opportunity in multiply. The reason is after this strong drop to the downside right from this zone, say around 3.70, we are seeing tremendous selling pressure. So definitely there should be some recovery coming in. And that's what I'm looking for. I want to take advantage of this upside momentum. Whenever it makes a U-turn, I want to be in that stock. May it be from 2.60 area or even 2.40. I'm stocking this one very closely. Multiply is one of the stock that is traded heavily in the market. When it makes any move, momentum are big and we should capture them for profits. Q holding is looking weaker. Here was the chance it could make a good momentum to the upside. Remember, this was the selling area at 3.50. Exactly at the same zone, people started to offload. Profit booking was seen. But eventually, it became a supply area. We are seeing strong selling pressure from here. For now, it's in a downtrend. Q holding is one of the stock that is traded with good volumes similar to multiply. So I'm expecting some kind of momentum right into this zone. This is an area of support that is between 3.00 and 3.05. This will be a decision time for Q holding. If at all, it makes a green candle here, a decisive green candle. This would indicate a fresh trend is about to start. But on the other side, if it fails to create a green candle, then be ready. It can come down to retest 2.90 to 2.85 area as well. Overall, Q holding is in a downtrend. I'm expecting some positive news very soon. Apex got rejected at 2.00 again. Look at this guys. After this strong red candle, we want to see recovery coming in. With this green candle, there were some signs that yes, recovery is coming in, but it could not close above 50% of this drop to the downside. In Friday session, it tried to cross 2.00 that is psychological and technical resistance. It was unable to break past. We are seeing a negative candle, although this is green, but this is still negative. Now watch out this price level very closely. In case if it starts to trade below 1.95, then it may come down to revisit 1.90. In this scenario, potentially we will be seeing a bullish chart pattern, which I will update later whenever I see that. But for now, it's looking very negative. It's in a no trading zone. There are chances of it coming down. Yes, this will turn bullish when we see a recovery of this red candle to the downside. Once we see Apex closing above 2.05, that's when you can consider this bullish and we can plan for some entries. For now, even this is in a no trading zone. Rack Properties is looking very promising. I had also recommended this talk to my YouTube members. If you still didn't join my membership, link is in the description box. You may join for my stock recommendations, entries, exit and also I share my trades whenever I get a chance. For now, Rack Properties is looking positive. Once it crosses 1.36, again it will be in bulls territory. Previously we saw it made this huge pull and a flag pattern. We saw a breakout. This was the place of entry. And then after two days, unfortunately, due to the markets, it came down. But very next day, it opened with a gap up. This is a good sign of a healthy stock. Guys, check this out. Last closing of this red candle was somewhere around here at 1.26. This was the closing. But very next day, it opened with a big gap up at 1.30. This is a good indication that this stock is healthy and buyers are still active in this stock. Overall, Rack Properties is still in an uptrend. Buruj, nothing interesting. Still, it's just going sideways. We saw it broke down again. It's back in the channel. As I had mentioned earlier, it's just trading within this range. So nothing interesting. We wait for a breakout. I will be only interested once we see a close above 2.50. 
Although Buruj released very positive financial results, unfortunately we are not seeing any positivity in this stock at least technically. So for now this stock can be easily avoided. Burjil performed very well. This was also one of the stock that I had recommended to my members right at the time of breakout and our target is already hit that is 3.40. For now it's looking negative. It could not sustain right into the resistance zone. It has made a red candle. Now it's very important it has to sustain about 3.30. In case if it breaks down the next area of support at 3.25 and then 3.17. For now you have to stock this one in case if there is any breakout above 3.36 then again Burjil will be in positive territory. Major resistance at 3.50. Pure health is now looking interesting. There are chances it will break the resistance of 5.10 and climb higher. Previously I have been mentioning do not get excited when you see first green candle after a strong drop to the downside. Why is it? Because this can be just a correction of this move to the downside and then we see continuously selling pressure. Again right here I had uploaded a short video mentioning this can be deceiving as this can be just a correction phase of this drop to the downside. Again similar kind of scenario after this drop we saw first green candle. This cannot be trusted. But now market sentiments have changed. After this drop, we are seeing three candles back to back and it's right near the resistance. It would be very nice if I can see a pause candle right near the resistance that is around 5.00 and then when it makes a breakout, this will be very powerful. Next area of resistance is bit far that is around 5.60 to 5.70. Yes, on the way up, you can book some of your profits around 5.30. Overall, you can stock pure health now. It will soon give good buying opportunity. And then pre-site, nothing interesting. It's just on a decline. It's been trading within this channel since May 2023. We can see selling pressure started to hit pre-site when it touched 3.80. We are seeing all negative candles. Any green candle cannot be trusted because it's in a strong downtrend. This is the support area that's been supporting but this support is of no use to us. Whenever it hits the support, it just goes up a bit, again a new low. It tries to climb up, again a new low. So don't trust any green candle when you see right at the support. It has to be a trending stock. The support has to be strong. We need to see good volumes at the support area. In fact, there are many criteria that has to be seen right into the support zone before we pull the triggers. For now, pre-site is not interesting to me. Again, there are chances it may hit the support, go sideways, make a new low. So this stock can also be avoided for now. Bayanath and pre-site go hand in hand. We can see strong support was at 3.20 area. Unfortunately, it could not sustain. It broke past the support. For now, for the last three days, it's just going sideways. I think it will make a new low very soon. This is the last red candle. There are chances if it breaks 2.62, then it may even start to trade much lower. For this to be again positive, I want to see first closing about 2.90 and then once 3.20 is taken out, we will consider this to be bullish. So Bayanath can be also easily avoided for now. M-Steel or Arkan is one of the slow stock in ADX market. We are not seeing much of volumes or big number of trades unless there is any news. For now, it's trading at 1.35. It's just been declining. We can see it's trading within this channel. Obviously, overall trend is still to the downside. I would not be interested to take any positions. Once it breaks 1.45, that is when buyers interested to take any positions here. Americana is negative for sure. It's about to reach 2.70. That was all time low. Unfortunately, this stock is hit by geopolitical situations. So let's avoid this one. Also, this is in a strong downtrend. Americana will soon release its financials. Obviously, it will be negative. I will be really surprised if I see any positive results. FertiGlobe could not sustain the support area that was at 2.95. We could see some bounces coming in. I was expecting a breakout of this resistance and I was ready to take position. Right at the time when I saw this green candle at 3.08, I was expecting a gap up opening so that I can take any positions. Next day onwards, we saw it open with a gap down. Look at this guys, last closing was at 3.08. Next day, it opened with a small gap down. And from here, we are seeing all red candles. This is not a good indication. There are chances it may even go lower from here. Very soon, Fertiglobe will release its financial results. Let's see how it is. 
If the results are above expectations, then definitely bulls will get activated and then we will plan our entries. At the same time, let me tell you, FortiGlobe is a good company. They distribute handsome dividends. Invest Corp Capital is positive. We can see a breakout of this resistance area that is 2.00 with this solid green candle. Volumes were also very good. It got rejected around 2.20 and from here we saw correction phase. This is still positive. It's just going sideways, retesting the same resistance area that is now acting as a support. Once I see a break past about 2.12, then there are chances it will try to hit 2.25 again. Overall, there are chances that Invest Corp Capital can start a fresh trend to the upside. So stock this one very closely for immediate resistance breakout. Phoenix was trading within this symmetrical triangle pattern. We can see price was just going zigzag and then it broke to the downside. This is a breakdown of this chart pattern. And after the breakdown, it took support around 2.05. It established the range and from here we are seeing a breakout. This candle is not very decisive, so we cannot trust this one. There are chances it can again come back into the channel. Wait for buying opportunities. Once it crosses 2.25, that's when I will consider this bullish. For now, stock this one for entries. Another slow stock in ADX market is Invictus. Nothing interesting. It just keeps going sideways and it's trading within this range. Support area at 2.55, resistance at 2.65. For now, immediate resistance have become 2.60. Support is still intact. What happens is, after a certain period of time, it makes a spike, lots of people enter right at the top, gets trapped, and then very next day onwards, it comes back again at the same place. So such kind of stock should be avoided. At least for me, I don't like such stocks. I want stocks with momentum. At least if at all they are going sideways, I want to see good volumes being traded so that when it breaks out, I can make good money. Abu Dhabi ports broke the support or trend line. We can see this was the trend line that was supported multiple times and buyers used to get excited or buy right into the support zone. Lately what happened, we can see some buying pressure coming in but it was not able to sustain and this trend line is broken. Unfortunately, it retested the same support. Right here, we can see with this red candle, wick at the top indicates it tried to go up, got rejected, came down. And very next day, we are seeing opening with a gap down, but it sustained. It has closed right at the red candle's opening. At least it's showing some strength. Mind you, it will soon release its financials. So let's see how the results are and then we will plan our positions. For now, I will only consider this to be bullish or positive when I see price again going back above this trend line that was supported multiple times. So stock this one closely. Adnock distribution is trying to go up, but it's very slow. Yes, there are buyers at the current zone. We can see after this momentum to the downside, it was taking support at 3.55 again and again. It also broke the resistance, but last candle is showing some weakness. Although it opened with a gap up, buyers should sustain this one. Unfortunately, it could not. Got resisted exactly at the same place where previously we saw rejection. It clearly means this was the place where people bought into. When it hit the same zone again, we are seeing selling pressure. This will be again bullish. If at all, we see a green candle next to a red candle and a closing about 3.74. So for now, stock this one closely for entries. Very soon, I think Adnock distribution will touch 4.00. Adnock drilling was performing very well. We can see this trend line was acting as a support and buyers used to protect this zone. Unfortunately, what happened after spending around three to four days right into the support zone, it made a green candle, but very next day it could not sustain, although it opened with a gap up, but we saw selling pressure coming in. This is not a good sign for it to be bullish again. As you know, it has to come back above the trend line and go hit 3.75. At least when it breaks this resistance, we can consider it to be positive. Next area of target or resistance is at 3.90 and then strong psychological and technical resistance at 4.00. So yes, you can put this stock in your stocking list and see how it performs when it breaks the resistance of 3.70. Adnock gas is back at a very important area of support. This is demand area. Previously we saw this was the place where it took a pause and from here we saw strong momentum to the upside. It tried twice, got rejected, could not cross 3.35 and from here we are seeing selling pressure. 
let's see how it performs back right at 3.10 area so you can also put this stock in your stocking list any green candle here will give us first hand indication that yes buyers are still active and there are chances it may revisit 3.35 again Adnock Logistics and Services is still positive after this strong move to the upside for now it's correcting itself. So we cannot consider this to be in a downtrend. We are still seeing it has only corrected around 50%. Let me show you right here if this was the lowest and this is the highest then we can say it has corrected exactly 50% of this move to the upside. I'm using Fibonacci retracement and extension tool. It's showing me 3.90 is exactly 50% correction area. There are very high chances it's establishing its support here. Any entries should be planned above 4.04 as that's the resistance zone. So you can also put this in your stocking list. Ishraq Investments, nothing interesting for now, it's just going down. There were some news about board members. Also, they were discussing to cut down the losses by reducing the capital. Unfortunately, we are not seeing any good buying pressure coming in. With last closing, there are chances it can still go down. So you can easily avoid this one. Do not try to catch a falling knife. Manazil is at a very crucial support area that is 0.330. Previously we saw a bounce coming in. It was trying to start a fresh trend got rejected at 0.360. From here again we are seeing it's making lower lows and lower highs. Previously I had mentioned right into this zone. If at all we see any buying pressure coming in then there are chances we may see a fresh trend to the upside in Manazil. Unfortunately we did not see that condition happening. We are seeing red candles. It's just going down south. With last candle close, there are chances it may want to visit much lower. Dana Gas, nothing interesting. It's in a strong downtrend from about 1.00. And from here, we are seeing strong decline. Obviously, it's not holding any support zones. Any bounce is considered as dead cat bounce. For now, this stock can also be avoided. It's in a strong downtrend. So guys, these were the stocks from Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange. If at all this was helpful, do not forget to show your support, hit the like button and share it with your friends. That's it guys for now. Thanks for watching. Keep stalking.